Salt Lake City's interim police chief is now officially the guy. The mayor's office announcing today that Mike Brown has been permanently elevated to the position. And tonight, new special Sandra Adams heard from Salt Lake's top cop about his plans for the department and some of the changes already being made. Andrew? Mike, the new chief is using a football analogy, saying he doesn't believe in playing a prevent defense to win a football game. Well, translation, if you don't play football, expect a chief who doesn't like to sit back, expect a police force that's dynamic and changing. It's uh, very humbling, yet very exciting to be named the 46th chief police of the Salt Lake City Police Department. Chief Mike Brown, policing Salt Lake City for the past quarter century. The department is now his. I serve alongside some of the finest and bravest officers uh, in this country. Who also face their share of challenges. And Brown says he doesn't want to be a placeholder as the city's top cop. I came in and, and wanted to make change, and I did make change. Those changes, the chief says, extend from de-escalation training. We're creating distance and protection and cover that allows you more time. To policing the criminal element that hides among the homeless in the Rio Grande area. It was a little bit uh, focusing on the broken window theory where if you pay attention to the little things, some of the bigger crimes don't occur. He's also talking tough on the illegal drug trade. We have narcotic enforcement at every level in the game. From the street, he says, to upper cartel chains. So if you're going to affect change in the drug world, you have to hit on all those, those spots. All while doing it with fewer cops. The new chief says his patrol ranks are down more than 30 officers. He says the department has now moved to a continual hiring process. So we don't let those numbers get to such a se severe level that we're always putting people back onto the street to, to make up for those that we lose. The chief says right now the department is pulling from other areas to make up for that deficit in the patrol division. He says he's working on that. He'd ultimately like to get to a beat model where officers are sticking to geographical areas of the city, getting to know those neighborhoods. But he says ultimately you need more boots on the ground. He's trying to get there. Back to you. All right, Andrew Adams live for us tonight in Salt Lake City. Andrew, thank you. Dave.